Whenever you're doing trigonometry in A level maths or university, it can be really useful to know and GCSE. I'm sorry, it can be even it can be really useful to know what the exact uh, values for trigonometric functions are. For instance, if I said the sine of zero, because the uh, graph for the sine graph starts uh, starts at zero, then you know that the sine of zero is zero. Some of other ones you might know, you know, might know the sine of 30 is 0 0.5 or a half. You may know that the sine of 90 is 1. But there's all these other ones that are useful to know. For instance, if I've done the sine of 45 in my calculator, I've got this in math mode. So whenever I do sine of 45, it's going to come up exactly. It's root 2 over 2. Or if you were to do it um, in line mode on your calculator, you get 0 0.7071, so on. It can be really uh, useful to know what they are exactly. Because then whenever you're doing things with the, those values, you might find that things cancel out and so on. Uh, particularly whenever you're doing trig identities and so on. Okay, uh, so let's have a look at what all the different um, exact trig values are. Okay, so this is in degrees. So if I put in um, my values in degrees, if I do the sine of 0, I get 0. The sine of 30, I get a half. The sine of 45, I get root 2 over 2. The sine of 60 is root 3 over 2. And the sine of 90 is 1. The cos of 0 is 1, the cos of 30 is root 3 over 2, the cos of 45 is root 2 over 2, the cos of 60 is a half, and the cos of 90 is 0. Now obviously sine divided by cos is tan, so the tan of 0 is 0, the tan of 30 is root 3 over 2, uh, root 3 over 3, uh, the tan of 45 is 1, the tan of 60 is root 3, and the tan of 90, obviously, whenever you do 1 divided by 0, it's undefined. And remember from the graph, that's where the asymptote would be. Okay, uh, so you need to know all of these uh, trig values exactly, or it's useful to know them all exactly. I tell my classes to learn them. Now I want to show you a quick way to, to work out to, to get these. Um, this is, was given to, me, uh, given to me by my colleague, uh, Vicky, so I just want to say thank you for that. Okay, so we know that the sine of uh, 0 is 0. So that's what I'm going to start off with. I'm then going to write 1, 2, 3, 4 here. I'm going to do 4, 3, 2, 1, 0 here. What I'm going to do with all these values is to square root them and divide by 2. So I'm going to do the square root, 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 divide by 2, divide by 2, divide by 2, divide by 2, divide by 2. Likewise for the cos, cos uh, square root and divide by 2. So square root, divide by 2, square root, divide by 2, square root, divide by 2, and square root, divide by 2. Okay, now let's work out what those are going to be. So if I was to work those out. The square root of 0 is 0, divided by 2 is 0. Square root of 1 is 1, divided by 2 is a half. Root uh, 2 over 2, well that's already what the sine of 45 is. Root 3 over th uh, root three over 2 is already the sine of 60. And root uh, 4 is 2, divided by 2 is 1. So notice that's giving you all the values for the sine, um, the sine of 0, 30, 45, 60 and 90 without necessarily remembering what they all are off by heart. Because uh, square root of 4 is 2, divided by 2 is 1, root 3 over 2, root 2 over 2, square root of 1 is 1, divided by 2 is a half, and square root of 0 is 0, half it is 0. Okay, and then the sine, uh, the tan then would just be what you would get whenever you divide these, okay? So if you were to do 0 divided by 1, you would get 0. If you were to do um, a half divided by root 3 over 2, I remember you would uh, take the reciprocal of this and times them. So you'd get 1 over root 3, but whenever you rationalize the denominator, you would get root 3 over 3. Um, whenever you divide these, you get 1. Whenever you uh, flip this one over and times them, you're going to get root 3 over, uh, or take the reciprocal of this and times them, you would get root 3 over 1, which is root 3. And obviously this one then is undefined. Okay, so it's just a quick way to remember how to, or a quick way to, to get them all. So you just start off with the sine of zero, or sine of zero is zero, and then just write one, two, three, four, four, three, two, one, zero. Square root them and divide by two. And again, this method was given to me by my colleague Vicky, so can I give all credit to her for that? But I think it's fantastic. Also, just to point out, these trig values will also work for whenever you're in radians and not degrees. So zero uh, degrees is zero radians. So sine of zero in radians is zero. Cos of uh, uh, zero in radians is one and so on. Uh, 30 degrees is pi over six. So if you were to do sine of pi over six in radians, you would get a half. Um, 45 degrees is pi over 4, 60 degrees is pi over 3, and 90 degrees is pi over 2. So all the values would be exactly the same whenever you're doing radians for those values.